Famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one the only Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it. The knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish it, Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I, I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sean O'Malley, ladies and gentlemen, set to fight Jose Alba. the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. We sent it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending. Champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, not surprisingly, the promotion puts two of its biggest superstars together as we get ready for Sean O'Malley and Jose Aldo. And so much is made of Sean O'Malley's it factor, his wild popularity. He is absolutely one of the best in the world. He's one of those guys that you know, the moment you saw him, he had something. He had potential to be really good over the course of his UFC career. But Jose Aldo, man, we have seen him rule the world for so long. Sean O'Malley, a star, but this is a hurdle that he has to get through if he wants to go to the next level. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Oh, straight to the body by O'Malley. He loaded up there with that high kick. I mean, these guys are legends. Why? What a pass I can fight now. 
All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Slips the punch nicely there. 26 total strikes have landed for Jose Al. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Straight right hand counter. Just over three minutes to go. O'Malley gets tagged by that stiff jab. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, O'Malley gets caught by the inside leg. Just misses with the left hook. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, Superman punch. And able to... Great job. Huge left hand. Oh, he landed a flying knee to the head. Oh, Superman punch. Doing a real nice job with the... Oh, he's wobbling now. That was a stroke to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> and a miss by O'Malley. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, that is, yep. One minute to go in round one. Nice body shot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Two is next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head. Ready to fight. And he's got to be proactive Ready. instead of reactive Ready. in terms of his defense. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Lead kick landed there by O'Malley. 
Back to the jab now, no good. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Aldo's got a blue starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Guys, come on. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. O'Malley's oh, bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, nice combination there from the king of Rio, Jose Aldo. He's really had a career renaissance of late. And once again, putting it all together in the stand-up team. Is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, my goodness! It's under three minutes now to go. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that ball. Big left hand! He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Work, work, work. Because the more he's taking it, Oh, look at that. Right hand over the top. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this week. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. About the output for this fighter here. A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Now those eye appears to be closing up by the second. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He's a young kick right now. Big right hand. Oh my goodness. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Now he's got to do everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished in that corner. O'Malley's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. to the body. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. 
He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Good job. And he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job by Ali there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, Ali's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Circling to his right. Just misses there with the left. O'Malley's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. And we might get a ringside position or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Looks like he's almost willing himself to stay in this fight, and doctor's gonna give him a chance. Somewhat surprising there. That cut is nasty. It's a nasty cut. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check, and to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination, and the determination is, Get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and wow. He's hurt bad. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that high kick lands. O'Malley's in. lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. We got to work very fast. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big shots raining down. Beautiful setup on that arm. Oh, arms in tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Certain. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of... <laughs> Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, 
left hook to the head, it's blocked. A lot of different looks, he switches to southpaw now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. These boys are going at it. 20 seconds left. Oh, Malley gets hit with a kick. Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So what a highlight here tonight. Jose Aldo put it all together. He is your winner by KO.